Welcome back to the channel, Is here. I'm gonna be showing a yoga routine specifically designed for golfers. This week, I'm staying in the desert on the beautiful golf course, but let me show you the view. So we actually have a US Open giveaway right now. We're announcing winners this Sunday, September 20th. So if you want to enter, I will put the link in the description below. It includes some exclusive US Open gear as well as a pair of ultra soft is socks. <laughs> I am literally steps onto the golf course and I have placed my yoga mat right over here. So today we're gonna be doing yoga for golfers. Super excited about this because yoga has always been a passion of mine and not just physically, um, I feel like mentally yoga truly helps the golf game. But let's just talk about physical. In order to maximize your golf swing, you actually have to be very flexible. That means your chest, your back, your hips have to be very flexible in order to get your swing in the right position. So we're gonna do a stretch along and let's get started. All right, the first muscle that we are going to stretch is the hamstring. Many people with inflexible hamstrings will set up like this. This setup is actually very common, but really it sets up the swing for failure. The club is too close to the body and you actually don't have any room to swing because your knees are in the way. So instead, you really wanna start straight up and feel like you're bending down 90 degrees kind of like as if you were bowing to someone. Once you're bent over, you'll want to hang your arms naturally. A way to double check club setup is that your hands should be about two fists away from your pelvis. So just to recap, you want to set up with your legs just slightly bent and your arms hanging naturally, not like this. So in order to do this with ease, we're going to need some flexible hamstrings. So let's get started. All right, the first stretch is going to be the standard downward facing dog. You may have a bit of trouble keeping your legs straight, but that's okay. Just straighten them as much as you can. If you're more advanced, you can bring your heels to the ground. Next, we're going to pedal our dog and we bring one heel to the ground, one foot at a time. This is a great stretch. You should be feeling it in your hamstrings now. Next, we have the three-legged dog. We're going to bring our left foot up as high as possible into the air. We bring it into our chest and go up even higher. And we'll re repeat this a few times. And don't forget to do the other side. Next, we have the triangle. We're gonna go into a lunge, straighten our front leg, and then try to touch your toes without bending your legs. You'll want to make sure that your torso is facing the wall, or in my case, the camera. 
Next, we're going to face our torso downward while still keeping our front leg straight. These stretches are uncomfortable, but I think it's really important for everyone to know that in order to improve, we have to stretch past our comfort zone. All right, now we're gonna do the next side and go through all the steps again. A good goal is to eventually have your entire torso flat along your leg. I'm still working on it too. So for this stretch, we're going to touch the floor with our hands while keeping our legs straight. The hard part about this stretch is that we want to look up with our head. So this is really going to stretch our hamstrings. If you can't do this yet, no problem. You can have your legs bent or you can place your hands on a chair. We really need a lot of twerk uh, on the backswing and the downswing, so let's work on getting these muscles flexible. So what we want to do is take our left hand and loop it into our inner thigh. Our right hand is going to come to the ground and we're just going to pivot as we normally would in our golf swing. No worries if you can't reach the ground just yet. You can find a surface, um, I found a tree, and do the same thing. So this is not uh, a yoga stretch. However, I do this drill all the time and it really helps my golf swing because you're really learning to use the ground for all your power. So we're going to practice our swings on just our big toes. This ensures that we're not sliding on the backswing, that we're pivoting properly and that we're shifting our weight properly. So next we're going to stretch our feet. We are going to flex them and then point them and do it all over again. We want to make sure that they're both getting um, the extreme movements so your feet can be more flexible overall. The last portion of this video is going to be on back flexibility. One of the main reasons for back flexibility in the golf swing is through the downswing. You can see here that you need quite a bit of back arch in order to get through the ball correctly and efficiently. This is the camel pose. I've included a modification and an advanced version. These are two moves that you should be doing every morning. Uh, they are the cat and cow, and essentially they're just opposite movements, and it's really good to do them together. This final pose consists of a bit of hamstring stretch as well as back. You'll want to grab your opposite foot with your arm and work on keeping your head up. Mm -hmm. 
don't forget to do the other leg. Uh, it's normal if one leg is better or worse than the other. My worst leg is definitely my left. If you're still here, don't forget to enter our US Open giveaway. I'll put the details in the description box below. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this. Um, again, yoga and golf have been great passions of mine, and to be able to combine them together has been um, such a dream come true, has been absolutely amazing. Um, if you want more content like this, go ahead and like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. And we'll see you next time. Bye.